Hey guys, how you doing today? Tony Benawa here. I want to dig deeper into the E part of the uh, cash flow quadrant, as you can see behind me. All right, E stands for employee. And the, for those of you who don't know, Robert Kiyosaki actually came up with this cash, cash flow quadrant uh, to distinguish the four types of ways people make money today and uh, the different language uh, that's included in each quadrant, the uh, different mindset, the, just the different kind of people. And the only difference is, is the way that people make money is the language they speak. But today, I want to talk to you specifically about the employee square. Because the employee square is where we all pretty much land, usually. Because what happens is when we um, grow up, from the time we're young, kids, like five years old, we start kindergarten, our school is structured in a way where you know, they teach us skills to grow up and work for other people and basically to build other people's dreams and work for what we call the business owners, which is the top right corner over here. All right. So most of us actually end up in the E quadrant and the E's actually work for the B's, right? The B's own the corporations and the businesses and hire people, the E's, to work for them. So the E's are usually people that go to college. Uh, get a good degree, and then they, when they graduate, they find jobs, traditional jobs, to um, to make money and support themselves and their family, right? So what happens, you know, along the way when, when you're an employee and you actually, later on down the road, decide that you want more freedom and more money? Well, I mean, what do people do? Okay, first of all, they lack the education as a business owner, right? They lack the education, so what do they do? They try to go out and find another job. They don't go out and find another business or they don't go out and try to become an investor uh, first and foremost because in order to be a successful investor, you have to have some knowledge. All right, Robert Kiyosaki back in 1996 told me, he said, I had a friend who had $20,000 and he came up to me and said, Robert, he goes, I have $20,000 to invest. He goes, I want to ask you what to do with this $20,000. And Robert Kiyosaki said, I want you to take that $20,000 and invest in your education. And the guy's like, huh? So investing in your education to become an investor is, is somewhat more important than taking that 20000 and investing it in something that you have no clue what you're investing in and just kind of throwing it to, say, stockbrokers, people they, they call professionals, and um, because they'll just put your money to Wall Street and you, know, you have people handling your money that you don't even know where they're putting it, putting it in things that they wouldn't even put their own money to invest in. All right, and we all know in 2007, a lot of people lost all their wealth and lost all their retirement because people put their monies in the wrong, in the wrong mutual funds or whatever you call it. Okay, so uh, an employee. Once again, all right. A lot of people later on down the road, whenever they're getting tired of their job and they're like, you know, this isn't, this isn't going to cut it. I just go to work, come home, go to work, go home, come go to work, come home for like 35 years, 45 years, and then you retire when you're 65. All right, you start thinking of that long, drawn-out road, and you're like, you know, I don't want to do that. You know, I want more time. I want more time to, to, with my family. I want to go on vacations. I want to see the awesome things that this world has, has to offer. And um, so what do you start doing? People start looking for another job, you know, that maybe pays more, maybe that they have less responsibility. But the truth is, is that if you find a job, you're still in the E quadrant, meaning you're still having to trade your time for money and you're still having to pay the most taxes, get the least amount of tax, break, tax breaks, and um, you know, there's just always a ceiling to what you can to, to what you can make in the E quadrant. If you want to make more money, then you're either going to have to take on more responsibility, which is going to take up more time. All right. So basically, what that looks like, uh, I'm just going to look basically right here is um, in the E quadrant. It kind of looks like this. You know, they go to this job and it makes them money, right? And then they get tired of that. They want more freedom, more money, so they quit that and they go look for another job. But it's the same quadrant. So basically what they're doing is they're just kind of going in circles in their own rat race inside the E quadrant. All right? So that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is we want to become an employee, right? And if you want more time and more money, then you're going to have to find a way how to bring yourself over to the B quadrant, which is um, where you own your own business and you hire people to do things for you so you don't have to, so you can actually enjoy life, take the time to do whatever you want in life. All right? So, um, you know, think about it. You know, if you want more time in your life, you want more freedom, you want the tax benefits to, you want to get paid first before the government takes money from you, employee, right? Because as an employee, what happens? You know, the government takes a cut of your money, 50% or more, all right? And then, um, and then you get your money. As a business owner, you, you're able to get all your money 
you know, all up front, and then you can just kind of defer taxes uh, d depending on where you put it. You know, 1031 exchange with real estate or investing in other things, and you get the write off a lot of things, right? So it's just a better advantage as a business owner, and that's where the true wealth is, and that's where the true time freedom and financial freedom is. If you're in the E, e or the S, which is on the left side of the quadrant, right here, the E and the S is a you know self-employed employee. Um, you'll never really attain your true freedom, you know, and all and all the and all the freedom that you want in life. You have to move over to the right side, all right? So Tony Bennell, once again, teaching you the difference between an employee, okay, and what we see on a daily basis that people try to get their time freedom just to try to find another job, whether. That's not the problem. The, the truth is, is they need to find their way over to the B quadrant, owning your own business, whether it be um, a corporation or whether it be franchises or, uh, or whether it be uh, a home-based business. All right. So think about that, and I will get back to you uh, tomorrow and go deeper in with uh, self-employed business owners and some investors. Okay. Talk soon.